You couldn't tell me beforehand. The problem is with it too is nobody fucking corrected you, and it blows my mind. So we have this to. This is fucking... on the podcast you just did yesterday with HD or whatever. I watched it. Something Let me to do with you. Some... No movies, guy. Movies. If you think Russell Crowe, uh, I didn't is think it was law-abiding citizen. Did you? What's his? I, did you see me? I was like, I don't think it's. I even said, I go, I don't think it's Russell Crowe. They're like, yeah, it is, and I'm like, I didn't. What's? Gerard I couldn't think. Of his, Butler. Gerard, that, you're right. But if you if you paid attention to the podcast, I I no didn't think. No disrespect to Gerard, a great actor. But if you confuse Russell Crowe as one of the best actors with Gerard, nah, bro. I didn't confuse. No time out. No time out. Because you can't even justify a guy. You're like, oh, I don't know who it is. It's Russell Crowe. That'd be the last fucking. No, name, I, think, I said I go is I go I go for some reason Russell Crowe's coming to my name uh, coming to my head and I don't think that's it. That's and a they problem were... for me. That's a problem for me. I because I had a brain fart, and the the first thing you come up with is Russell Crowe, which is irrelevant I, for I, that movie. I don't even know why that came in my head, but it just popped. They're not even they're not even resemblance. They don't even resemble each other. On a scale of one to ten, how many of you? One's got a British accent for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, how, what is happening, bro? Their names don't even sound the same. Did anybody destroy me yet in the comment section for that? I don't think so, but like. I'm like, how is anyone not catching this? It was such an old movie, and I couldn't think of like and, who it and was. The fact is, you guys, you and Anton, they're like, oh yeah, Law Abiding Citizen, Russell Crowe, and I'm like, what is happening? What is going on? Jose's gonna fucking freak out on me too. Oh, I don't, I don't know. That, that really got that really burst my good bubble here. Yeah, but I think that I mean. Oh, hi, Jose. Hi, Nick. How we doing? I'm I'm getting right. I'm literally getting yelled at. Why? No, hold on. Jose, who's the actor in Law Abiding Citizen? Uh Jamie Foxx. No, 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 the, the, the main one. Oh, um, um that's what I did. Um, that's okay. Um, let him let him think. No, no. He's uh um Gerard Butler. Okay. This motherfucker said Russell Crowe. No, well, they both did a similar type movie. Russell Crowe did Gladiator, and Gerard Butler did 300. So I could see the confusion. Ah, and they both does. have like <laughs> Gladiator is Gladiator is a legendary movie. They are, and some might say 300 was too. It was pretty. I, pretty 300 good. is by far one of my favorite movies, but I wouldn't call it oh, legendary. I'm no, I'm with you. I'm with I'm you. Go. Gladiator was some legendary. They're actually making a part two. Did you? Are they really? That? Yes, and Denzel Washington's in it. He's one yeah. of my favorites of all time. Well, yeah. oh, you've never confused him with another actor. Him, you? him, no. I have never called him Will Smith or anything. <laughs> <laughs> did you actually? Speaking of Will Smith, did you see the new preview for Bad Boys Four? Looks. I, I mean, I, I love. I'm a bad, a huge Bad Boys fan, as you already know. Three wasn't that good. It was funny, but it wasn't Dude, four like four was epic. If if four lives up to the trailer, I'll be impressed because they're making it seem like it's going to be fucking awesome. I wonder what, if what, they'll the do like a, pretty bad. Did they give they didn't give a release date though, did they? No, yes, yeah, June seventh. We got a fucking movie date on June seventh. Yeah, June seventh. What are the odds that he slaps someone in the movie? <laughs> I bet they'll do that. They'll have him slap the shit out of someone. Warren Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. So fuck what his wife. Did you, did you did you think that was justified way back when when he got the slap? Chris Rock? I, I, yeah. I, my honestly, I thought he was out of line for it. Yeah. I th I thought he was having a mental breakdown. That was the but, dumbest thing I've ever seen. But I will say, he did it like a boss, though. Did, I, I, like, did Chris man, Rock think man, he like, was going to get kissed? My man, like, literally walked his way to the stage, slapped the shit out of him, and then walked his way back like nothing. Yeah. And Chris Rock ate it. He, yeah. Well, he ate it, but I think he was more in shock that he just got slapped the shit out of him. Yeah. He, I don't think he knew what was happening. Speaking of slapped the shit out of... What the fuck happened at the Two Bros Pro Show? You guys see all that fucking nonsense? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. The thing with that is we'll never know the real story until we know the real story. So, so I the, the story that I had heard was that he was either a story one was he was trying to get back to the girl's dressing room and he was like being a peeper for his, for his, for his girlfriend. For his well, girlfriend. then I heard that. So I don't know. Obviously, I, I would assume I've never I Michael's Michael's a very nice guy. I've had nothing but good interactions with him. So I don't think he's the type of guy that would do that anyway. But then he everybody's I, I think the issue is he was talking negatively about the show and the security guards had something to do with the show. So they just took it out on him is what it seems like. Because you, well, don't, you don't, his story don't get a, earlier in the day. Like he, he didn't, he wasn't like, what did he say about, about like, he was just speaking his feelings about how he felt disrespected about the show. It was just okay, fine, whatever. But the only thing we don't know is, is which I'm not defending anyone here, but we don't know if he went a little ape shit and then got beat the fuck up. We don't know if you know he's talking his mouth, and then bouncers then fucked him up. Like you, don't, you don't know. We, we're, none of us are there. Supposedly they have footage, so but we'll probably never see it. But if I had to guess from my own opinion, I, I mean, I think what the security did was wrong. There's a difference if he tried to get into the back and was like, "Let me get back there," and they're like, "Sir, you can't." And then he shoved them or swung at them. And then there's a difference if you like, "Hey, can I get in the back?" And somebody just fucking rocks. I'm like, there's a. That's a big difference, right? It's a but, big difference, but as security, you're still not supposed to hit anyone. Like if you're so, not so, to detain. So when I worked security, because I, I did security at a club for three years, and we had a rule. You asked them to leave, and as soon as they resisted you, you took them to the ground. That was well, that, yeah, that, that was the rule. So, so what I'm saying is, is that if he tried to push a bouncer – or do some or swing to get backstage and he got his ass beat. Well, then you kind of, you, you, you started it, but yes. he just got his ass beat because the security guards were pissed off that he was speaking his mind. Well, then they're assholes and, and, and he did nothing wrong. Well, no, I agree. And the way they made it sound, it was like four on one. So for four guys to beat the shit out of this one guy, it's wrong regardless. How about this? Where the fuck Dude. were the other dudes that were standing around? Like that didn't fucking jump in. Like, like and even if I didn't, security guards guy, ran, bro. <laughs> even if I didn't know the guy, I wouldn't watch somebody get the shit kicked out of him unless like he fucking raped somebody or fucking grabbed a kid. Like if somebody's getting their ass beat by four people, like there comes a point where you're like, all right, enough. Like and nobody fucking pulled pulled anybody off or fucking jumped in. Like if if, if Jose was getting his ass beat by four guys and I was an innocent bystander and I I didn't know the situation. I would at least jump in and be like, guys, get the fuck off him. Yeah. Apparently there was a previous incident and he had already been banned from the two bros. Um, so he wasn't supposed events. to be there? Uh, apparently. And then I guess as his, he started doing better, they uh, changed his their mind or something. I, I'm not sure, but I did read that someone said there was a previous incident with him going backstage and having an incident with another woman at an at another pros event, bro. Like whatever. incident it, when you say an incident with another woman, meaning like what? Thirty. I'm not sure. I, they didn't specify, but um, maybe him yelling at a woman or physically assaulting a woman. I I don't know the facts, uh, but I did read that there, there was a previous incident. He had previously been banned, and then he somehow ended up at this event. So they they probably had some bad blood prior to this. I don't think it was just some incident where he was like, oh, pardon me, would you please let me backstage? And they beat the shit out of him. You know, he probably mouthed off. There was probably previous bad blood. And, uh, and then, you know... I, it doesn't make sense for them just to beat the shit out of him for no reason. Well, well you can keep saying, that. Like, we don't. We don't know the whole story. No, I just did something. Don't, don't doesn't smell right. No, about the whole thing. No, something ain't cooking right in the kitchen. That's right. But then I've heard. I you know I I know nothing about the two bros pro shows. But then I I heard that I also you know, hear, you know they're, they they're run on a rocky right. ship. Yeah. So you know it is what it is. I thought Bob Chick was involved in that. I don't know. 
I don't know. Or maybe he was just MC in a few of their shows or something. I thought he was involved. Like he was like one of the promoters or something. But then like were were people like freaked out to go to a show? Because I saw the IFBB put out like a thing about like not to be nothing to worry about, about like attending shows. Like a fight can happen anywhere. Like yeah. at a baseball game, a football game, like with all these athletes and competitors, like some people are bound to argue and get into it. Like it's just that's that's not bodybuilding; it's just part of fucking life. Like so I don't I think anybody should be worried to, about going fight to a club, show. baby. No, I've seen plenty of shit happen at shows backstage. I've seen. Uh... I remember when you almost fucking attacked that fucking. You wanted to kill that guy backstage, dude. <laughs> at the Arnold yes Nick we're backstage at the Arnold and, and you know how they always play like the hurry up and fucking wait game well this time they played the wait and then hurry us up game where they waited to the last fucking second to tell us to do anything and they were trying they were sh- try- literally shoving us on fucking stage That's the best. and there was like an older guy there I never saw him before I think it was his first and only time because I never saw yeah. him again I never seen him not then or again. And Jose either, it was either a bottle of like Poland spring or like glaze, or he had some bottle in his fucking hand. And I think this guy rushed him. And I think he like, did he push you? Put his hands yeah, on he's you? he's trying to literally push me up the stairs. And Jose grabbed the fucking bottle and turned around and fucking just smashed it on the ground. He was like, don't ever fucking put your fucking hands on me again. Because, dude, so this is what they go. They go, 212, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. You know, you start getting ready soon. Literally, not five minutes Two minutes later, later. He's like, line up, line up. And we're like, what? And I had a bottle of glaze. And we, you and I were going to, like, put glaze on us. And he's like, no, no, you don't have time for that. Just fucking go. And he starts pushing me. And I was like, you got to, who is this fucking guy? Are you kidding me? Like, they don't, that's not how you do shit. And we didn't even get to glaze ourselves. We just no. went on stage. That's crazy. I yeah. got glaze on my shins. Thanks. Yeah. On your it's... feet. You walked in it. It's good. No, I've was... seen uh I've seen a two promoters from, from your neck of the woods. One slap the other backstage. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was nice. Without mentioning names. What where, where when oh, I, I really... know what you're talking about. I think I have an idea, but I'm I then now I'm confused. I I forget exactly what event it was, but it was uh one of them said to the other something like, What do you I can't believe you have the balls to even be here? And yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I don't even talk about it. Oh, oh wait, is one of the is him. is one of these guys passed away? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know now, exactly what I'm talking about. Now yeah. I know what you're talking about, but I didn't. I, I I was thinking of people still alive, and I'm like, I I don't know. No, well, but you didn't now, pass too long ago. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Nick, you never had an experience like that at a show, have you? Like, have you ever had a like? It doesn't have to be a promoter, even a person. Have you ever had a negative like no. situation at a show that like set you off? No, you can't say that I have. Jose, was that your no. only one? Oh no. Um no, there's been plenty. Like uh really? Yeah, just dumb shit, you know. Back in the day, we used to we used to all be backstage at the same time, like at the USA's. There would be women's bodybuilding, women's figure, women's fitness. USA's. Yeah, and then men's bodybuilding. Mr. USA and himself. Hey. We'd be hey. all stuck there. And uh you know, you couldn't find a spot to, to sit. You, there was nowhere to be. It was just too many people in a tiny room. I remember one chick, she was so pissed that she lost, she just ripped off her suit and was marching around backstage completely what? naked. Naked? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Naked? No. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Naked. She looked like you naked, Nick. Uh, uh, Nick. That's gross. <laughs> Yeah. Did you have a little baby carrot? Yeah. You know? uh, Not that Nick has a baby carrot. I'm just saying the chick out there. No, he did. Wait a <laughs> I don't like where this is going. I've showered with Nick. I've seen it. We have. True story. <laughs> You've showered with Nick? 
There was only one bathroom and we both needed the shower. We were in a rush. We had to go. At the same hey, time. I said, when in doubt, shower together. When in save doubt, water. when in doubt, soap it out. <laughs> Gotta save water, bro. <laughs> hey, what's going on with uh, Raphael and, and Tony O'Burton? Well, You've been well, following so, that? So, you, so don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't fuck with the Brazilians, bro. You know that. What are you doing? I'm going to Instagram. I was say, what is this shit? I don't even think Raphael should have responded, though. Me neither. Just, I, I said just, the same thing. Just put, let it go. Oh, he you know, went, he, he went fucking in, bro. Like, yeah, he did. He talking about how Tony clogged his toilet. <laughs> yeah. He said, he said, I let you and your team in to train. Even though you clogged my toilet and were training like, in your underwear, you clogged my toilet or pulls in your underwear. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck is that? What? Yeah, but to to Tony a rebuttal too, you know. Yeah. He so this is what him. this is what he said, right? This is what triggered this. Yeah, I agree Basically, with both the of them. Sum up what Tony o said is. Raphael was going to win the show regardless of how he looked. <laughs> so, so, so let's touch on that because I, I want to, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. So I, I have known Rafa for a long time. I, I consider myself a good buddy of Rafa's. I have seen Rafa in superb conditioning. Not everybody gets he it right. Lumps in his, oh, he said that. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't he know wasn't condition to win if you had if, if you had someone like Steve or Tyler judging, he's not making a call with that conditioning. He has lumps in his glutes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's just what he said. So yeah, he went in, bro. Oh well, here, right? Oh, he basically said the fans dictated who won. <laughs> like he, 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 Tony was not playing, bro. Listen, I. Rafa has a, an amazing shape and it's better displayed in better conditioning, not fuller. And he would like, I don't like, no, 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 he was, no, no. he was, oh, no, fat. No, no, no. he had fat on his back oh, and guy. his glutes. He wasn't fat. cool, bro. He was fat. He no, fat I, th so horrible. that's what I'm saying. He had, so, but I, I'm getting to a point. So everybody praised Rafa for how much size he put on. But then the argument is, well, how much size did he really put on if he was still holding that much fat on his back and his glutes? Because Rafa's been peeled. We've seen him peeled. He That was very far off. He looked, I, he looked better at the Arnold. He did. And I honestly, oh, yeah. I, I thought it was between, I, I would have given it to Vito, but it, if it would have went to um, Antonio, I wouldn't have, it, it could have, you could have flipped off. I, 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 had, I had Tony winning. See, I, and, and, and I just had Vito because I thought they were both peeled. I thought Vito looked a little bigger from the back. In the back shot. Here, well, so, so if we're but compare, Tonio's got Tonio, a crazy physique. I think he, he could have won it well, too. Here, here, if you're gonna if we're gonna compare Tonio with Vito, I think from the back, as far as detail, conditioning, and all that ish kebab, Vito wins that shit. That's where okay. But I, I think if you're gonna go for like an overall pleasing, well balanced condition, hardness, fullness, all that ish kebab look, I'm gonna go Tonio. So regardless. We all agree you would have had Raf in third. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Tonio's not wrong in what he's saying. A lot of times, uh, it, when when you speak the truth, it's hard it for people to listen to. It hurts. Yeah, because a lot of people don't say it. You know, well, Jose, um, there were there were shows that like that I was off that that you said I was off. There were shows that Nick said I didn't look like. That you can't get mad if you don't look good, but you also shouldn't get a gift if you. I mean, that was one uh, that he just. I don't well, know okay. who judge. Who is the head judge? I don't. Tamer. I think it's Tamer. Yeah. But here, here's the thing, guy. There's there's a thing about you. You came in a little off. Yes. I I don't think Raphael was off. I just don't think my man was in full shape. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Because being off. Means you're Being in condition. Off, you're ready. You, you just missed the peak. During peak week. Ex ex agreed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like you, you, whatever. Because you could look like three days prior, like, oh shit, like you're about to win this motherfucker. Yep. And then you get on stage and you're like, oh damn, yeah. you you missed it. Yep. Where if you're just not fully in shape, that you can't miss it. You just weren't there. Exactly. Like if you have like a, a film of water over you, or you're holding a little on your lower back, 
or you're flat or maybe you over carved. Like you, everybody can still see that you're peeled through yes. that. You're just not where you should be. Right. So, yes. but he literally had like six weeks of dieting to go to, to get peeled. I knew a few days prior to the show when they announced the, they leaked these photos and Raphael's 267 pounds. I'm like, if he's 267, he's going to be way off. And sure enough, well, it, it blows was a my, I agree, but it blows my mind because, dude, like, the way he looked at the Arnold, like, all you had to do was just kind of diet for, like, another four weeks, bro. Like, yeah. I think they that. purposely tried something different. <clears throat> I, I so, just... at, and, and this was Rafa's response. It's not my fault if you, at your best, weren't able to beat me. You, at your maximum you... conditioning, still had no separation in, in your quads and hamstrings, no detail on the shoulders and chest, and competed with little muscle volume. Now, what do you guys tank? You got to stop snoring, bro. My dog is fucking hammering snores out. Um, I gotta be, I gotta not... be honest because that that bothers me because it's like, so you know you were off as fuck, and now you're gonna rub that in his face. Like, what what does that mean? He, like so, to me, I read that as Raphael knew he wasn't at his best, and the fact that you couldn't beat me while you're at your maximum conditioning, like it, it's like, well, what does that mean? I'll you tell know? you what, I, I I agree with Tonio. If this were the Olympia, Tonio would have beaten him. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely, absolutely. agree because the yeah, I I there's a lot of things I could say, and and in that I just don't know if I want to. Tonio. Um, let Go me tell you ahead. something about Tonio. Tonio's a little beast, bro. Yeah, he is. I, I love his physique. I think he's starting to look like Dexter Jackson. The only, the only, huge the only problem with fucking Tonio that I have, I, I can't form a rival with him. He's too nice. He doesn't talk shit. Uh, he's starting. <laughs> ah, not really. I like it. I like it. I think he could fix a couple poses. Well, he said he couldn't do the side try because he hurt his shoulder or something doing football, so he can't, like, open up fully on that pose. Jose, you know who he reminds me of with his muscle bellies? Ooh. Try to take a guess. Who Who is one of the roundest, roundest, roundest bodybuilders? Back? David? No. Open guy, mostly. Um, back... Yeah, yeah, like uh he's got that bubbly Silvio Samuel look. Oh, yeah. 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 And that's what he and and Silvio used to smoke people. Smoke yeah. guys really? on the stage. Oh, dude. Silvio he's Samuel only 210. Yeah, dude. I heard yeah. that. Yeah, he was nasty. I mean, what does that not remind you of him? Yeah, uh, very similar. No, I gotta be honest. Really? Hold on, let me find. <laughs> I, I, not really, I, man. I think they look totally different. No, they they look. That looks very similar to it. Where where to it go? It's right there. Bicep. I just clicked it. it went away. How it go? That black and white one. Yes. You got you got to click it, guys. I see. I mouse. did. Here it is. Here it is. That looks very similar to <laughs> fucking. It absolutely does, bro. Yeah. See, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I think, I think that's a very big compliment to him. You don't, you don't even know who Gerard Butler is. Fuck yourself, dude. I'm never gonna live this fucking down. I swear to God. <laughs> so, so uh, back to the judging. Um, what, why do you uh, think? Why do you think that wouldn't have happened at the O? Let me ask you that. Before because I because I think both Tyler and Steve more Steve are are sticklers for conditioning. Yeah, now, they, I know like the, that they like the condition. Their argument is, well, he won, he had the best balance, the most size, the you know, the the prettiest shape, whatever. So he, you, picked, he checked more boxes than just conditioning. Okay. Where, now is that is that fair? If the way I look at shit, I don't care how pretty your physique is. I'm not even looking at it if it's not in condition. That's the number one priority that you come in shape. So I've, I've heard that I, directly I, I from the cat's mouth. I agree. 
I'm a condition freak, so. Well, I don't think it's even. But then you have then you have somebody like then you have somebody like Nick that gets docked for it if he's on the latter side of that. See, well, yeah, unfortunately, Nick, I move it, Nick, move your around, move your you know? camera a little bit, like over, so you're in the picture fully, please. It's still off center, but it's better. You can still see my muscles. You're such a fucking girl. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um. Like, like Nick came in at the Arnold best conditioned in the show and, yeah. and Samson beat him. So is this kind of one of those deals you think? Because now you have two Arnold's where the guy that, that was in the best conditioning didn't win. I mean, this year, obviously with hottie was different, but you take both of those examples they're they're very similar. So do you think, you know, when we were competing, you kind of knew which head judge was judging if they like the bigger guy the guy with better legs, better conditioning, bigger arms. So, like, I knew when judges were judging, like, oh, so and so, like, she, I know she or he likes my physique. Yeah. Uh, do you think that it's fair that the judging criteria might be biased depending on who the head judges? Is? is that a bad thing or is that a good thing? It's a bad thing. It needs to be consistent across the board, but it's human. It's human error. I think this one was way worse because. The two guys that he beat, it's not like they don't have pretty shape themselves. They both had really small waists and wide, you know, great muscle bellies, balance, everything. Where, um, you know, with with, uh, um, what I personally could have had Nick winning th that Arnold, no question. Of course, but um, Samson was gigantic. And it was his best condition to date. So, but should but should you be judged based on your best versus what, or based on what's on stage, regardless of how good you might look? Meaning, always, meaning, meaning, if if Nick if if Nick showed up at ninety percent one show and then a hundred percent the next show, but the show he's a hundred percent, there's guys there better than him. Should he get the nod just because he's finally at his best? No, but they do that. It's weird. They do that and. They will place you down even if you're better than someone next to you if you're significantly worse than your last appearance. Do you, do you understand that? Yeah. It's happened to me. Do you think, I'll ask Nick first, do you think there's a, when, when you have your best conditioning ever, do you think there's a wow factor where the judge's eyes are just on you so much because of the okay, this is his best conditioning. Oh my God, he finally nailed it. Like, look how good he looks. Look how good he looks. He goes. And then you kind of put the other guys automatically in second because you're so impressed by the conditioning. And he, that's where the human error comes into play. Like when you showed up at the Arnold, not your fullest, but holy fuck, look how peeled he is. That almost worked against you though, right? I mean, yeah, but I, I, I don't know. Like- I I'm not trying to fucking back. open this up again. Like, I know this drives you nuts when we talk about no, this. No, because, like, even and once in a while, I still go back and look. And I just, I still just, I, I, for me, I don't get it. Like, sure, we can debate. Yeah, you aren't as full as the Olympia. Sure, cool, I get it. But I was peeled to the fucking bone, and it's not like I was so flat. I was still full, just not as full as the O. But my conditioning was like second to none compared to the O, you know. And I figured with that look, um, I, I would have got rewarded for it. I, I can wholeheartedly say because that. I I knew Samson wasn't going to be peeled. So if I came in like deathly peeled out of my mind, it would have been a no brainer because it's not. I'm not a small person, right? So for, if I come in peeled, peeled. I just thought that would have gave me like the true upper hand. Because even if you're flat, you're still big. That's what you mean. Well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. I figured yeah. that would like really would have gave me the full advantage. I, I can say this though. A lot of people didn't see you in person at the Olympia. Like I was in your hotel room. How good you looked for how bad that hamstring was. I can, I can wholeheartedly, I, and whole, like I congrats to Derek, but there's no way anybody would have beat you at this Olympia. You would have fucking jaws would have hit the floor guy if i the, if, if my calf wasn't fucked up my calf 
I would have went on stage with that hamstring. And you would have been top three. How's that? I that that's what I somebody, I forget who asked me that. I said, you, look, you, you, I, you wouldn't have won. I already know with the hamstring, I wouldn't I wouldn't have won. There's there that's a doc. There's no way. But I was so confident that I would have stayed third. Could you imagine taking third place with a completely torn hamstring, black and blue, and smoking fucking fifteen guys? If my cap, like I said, if I if my cap wasn't torn and I was able to flex that leg and do what I needed to do, I, I would have gimped my ass right. right on set, like, I think you would have been. I think you would have been top three. Me too. I I wholeheartedly believe that. And for people that don't know, because I know I know you got questions about this and that got that. I his hamstring felt like it was a bone. It, I'm, I'm sorry, his his calf muscle was oh, yeah. so fucking hard and and yeah. and bind it up that when I put remember when I pushed on it, you're like push on this, and I was like, holy shit, dude, that's fucking weird. It, it was felt like, like a, I was it was felt like I was pressing on your shin and it was your it calf. Was like a, it was like one of those dollar coins just right in my quarter. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, so so you do so you you don't agree that the criteria might shift in one way or another, depending on who the head judge is. You don't think that's, but, but you're never going to be able to correct that. Cause that's human error. So what, like, like, how do you go? Like, this is a sport where we're judged. We all know that we're judged by other humans. So to say there's no human error in it, or there's not going to be some bias is, is false, right? Because it's just, even if you judge the show, Jose, you're going to have a little bias because of what you like as am I just how it is. So do you think that's okay? Do you think it shakes things up a little bit? And, but I, I I think the only issue is, is it confuses the competitors as to what the judges are looking for. Because now you might have guys at a later show show up full as a house with less conditioning. They're like, well, that's what Rafa brought the fuck in the Arnold and he, and he won. No, I, I'm okay with different judges liking different things. I um, just had a bad feeling going into I'm the show. I'm always going to come in field no matter what. I don't care. Nick, since you've been pro, I, I can pr I can proudly because I'm proud of this. I can proudly say that every show you've done, you have literally brought impeccable conditioning. Like every time, there hasn't been a show where you're like, ah, his condition could could be better. No, you're you're fucking you're there every time. Not a lot of people in their careers. I love the that. problem with, and I think conditioning is. I revert conditioning to suffering, and I love to suffer. You know, if Matt was like. You know what, bro? I think we need to go no carbs for like a week and let's see what happens. Yes. I'm like, let's do it, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, let's get down to business. Because I know that's because I like I said, I know I'm big enough. Like I can probably afford to do something like that, and it wouldn't be detrimental to the look as long as you know we play, you know, okay, time to eat, whatever we play that game back and forth. But I, I, I like to suffer. I have no problem with suffering. Zero. None. So, and that's that's funny because there's somebody else that I know very well that is the same way and never missed his fucking conditioning. I don't think since I've known him. And that's you, Mr. Raymond. Jose yeah, was probably one of the Raymond, most... Jose Raymond pulled trickery. He would have like dog shit at like four weeks out <laughs> and then come to the show at night peeled out of his fucking mind. Yeah, well, I had to compete with him. So if you want to have a mind fuck, be the guy that's got to compete with him and see him three days before the show. I'm like, I got this motherfucker. And then he shows up on stage. You're like, that's some trickery shit right there. What did you do? Yeah. I, I would have people asking me at four weeks out from the Olympia, like, oh, you're not doing it this year? I'm like, what? They're like, oh. So what do you, what do, you do? Uh, no, no, I just, because I'm so short, I always look fatter than I am. You know, in clothes, my skin's all thin, but you, I don't get that deep, deep separation until the last minute. The, the literally, till water comes out of me. Did you go like no carbs and shit? Sometimes, but rarely. I'd always have at least one carb meal. Uh, Jose always overdid the cardio. Chris would say, "Do thirty, he'd do sixty. Do sixty, doing he'd do ninety. Am I right? Am I wrong? Yeah, no, I did a shitload. I average like two hours a day, every day. Cardio, at the end of the day, cardio gets you peeled. I agree. And you know I would do I mean? hard cardio, like intervals on the step mill for 60 minutes. You, okay, you're, you're, you're psyched. Now, do you think that might be why your hips are so bad, Hose? Absolutely. <laughs> no, no. It didn't help, but 
It's a, it's a genetic thing. Because right? I did a lot of stairs, but then as I got older, I went more towards treadmill because the stairs would just wipe the weight off me too fast. Tre treadmill is not hard enough for me, bro. Well, I, I would do an incline. And a lot of times so, Chris would tell me to do 20 minutes, but e like easy, like you're walking your dogs outside. So, yeah. You know, well, what's makes, easy for you? 3.0, 3.2, just. What, what incline? Easy for me? I do like three five. That's easy. Yeah. Fifteen. You want to know something? You want to know something funny? Yeah. The Arnold or for the Olympia prep, I did treadmill with a one incline at a two point two walk. Did you? Did you? For an did hour? You, did you? Did you? I was oh, fucking. Man, that shit was like insane. that shit was like forty forty five minutes. <laughs> And were you like flexing, squeezing your hamstrings, your glutes? Every fucking step. Yeah. That's sometimes harder than walking fast. That plays a role. People don't understand that. That's why like when I do stairs and I say I do a level two or three, people laugh. And I'm like, but I'm I'm squeezing everything, every step. I said to me, that's more hard that's harder than someone who's on like a level eight, nine trying to fucking climb Mount Everest. Yeah. Like you that's that's cardio with a purpose because a lot of people just get on cardio to just do their cardio but when you do it like that i never did that on the treadmill because i walked too fast i would walk too fast but when i did the stairs every yeah. step it was fucking just squeezing through my I, fucking. i even do that like when i ride the bike you know i'll do the resistance but i like contract i can't my i contract my quad as hard as i can with every time i you know pedal out so you pedal fast or just not really yeah, I go fast. Because I, I, I see when I'm on the bike, I try to keep the RPMs over 90. I, I I go like I start at level four and I'll go up and I try to get I try to stay over 90 I, RPMs. I do like this morning. I did level eight the whole time. What are your RPMs? Like how fast are you going? Um, I I, I for me being on the bigger side, I, I do like 80, 85. Yo, let me tell you something. Okay. When I'm comparing myself to you. It was no disrespect. You're like oh, a buck just, 50, bro. I, yo, listen, first of all, I'll smack <laughs> you. You know, Will Smith smack hard, motherfucker. Keep talking that shit. <laughs> Number one, when we're comparing ourselves, there's no preface of, well, I'm a bigger guy. Because everybody fucking wants to. I have to make, clarify because I don't. They, we all <laughs> know, including me, that you're a fucking large human. Okay? It's like me saying... Well, I'm shorter than you. People are like, well, no well, shit. To be honest, guy, that's I didn't mean it in that intention, you sensitive fuck. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should go eat a burger. Yo, fuck you. You you and your keto diet. <laughs> Bro, listen, you want your fucking best friend to stay alive? I'm trying to fucking stay alive so I can guide you through life. <laughs> Bro, you, you have no look, claws. You're all right. You look identical I'm to not... your dad. I'm not, like a, I'm not a right drain. Here. I'm not clogged. <laughs> you got no clogs. <laughs> you got no clogs, bro. You, you're, you're, I'm not a fucking. Fine. I'm not a sink. <laughs> go, go to, go to Five Guys and just get a triple patty, no bun. You're good. Jose, why is my fucking calcium score like an SAT score? Why is it? I don't know. <laughs> was the it's doctor not funny? Said. But that was funny. I went. I had my cardiologist appointment today. I was just there. Yeah, that's How when you it? called me earlier. He so he explained. No, I was walking into my. Uh, that was my pulmonologist. I went to my sleep uh, apnea doctor. Are you after. good? Are you gonna? Look, are you fine? Like what? You didn't. Yeah. So the it. so the way he explained it, right? If you have, uh, like, right, you have your your arteries, right? Are you okay? Me? Yeah. Good. Did, did did a bird fly into the window or something? You just no. Saw the computer him. screen just popped up, so I was like, "What the fuck is?" Oh, that? Say, you saw him, right? Just completely zonk out, like. No, I can't see him unless he's talking. Set, oh, oh, you gotta change the view, over, you though. idiot. Swipe your phone. How do you do that? Swipe. Just swipe. Swipe. And now what? Three participants? Swipe. Was it swipe right? Swipe right? Swipe right, right? <laughs> swipe right? Swipe right? No, that... Oh, that's, that's good. Fuck. That's good. Like that. Can you, you see all of us? Yeah. All you right, don't, you don't, you don't, you don't change on our end. We don't see it. No, can you see me? Yeah, yeah. you dope. All right, good. So the way he the way he explained it to me, dude, I have have both of you taken blood pressure meds before? No, Nick. I don't what? Blood, have you ever been on blood pressure meds? No. Okay. Well, most bodybuilders are on blood pressure meds at some point because their blood pressure gets out of tell, control. Tell I, the story, right? 
So no, I'm on none. But uh, they took guess what my blood pressure was. People are like, you're always fucking pissed. You're always at guess what my blood pressure. And I woke up, had two cups of low end. two cups of coffee, and did uh, I only did 30 minutes of cardio this morning. But guess what my blood Ooh, pressure was? Chicken. Yes. I don't know. One one twenty over sixty-eight. Hose, oh, guess. One twenty over eighty. Hundred over seventy. What? That's low, yeah. It's always uh, the last, when I was in the hospital. It was one ten over seventy two. That's pretty low. I have I have such low blood pressure, which is it. The doctors are like, "You feel alright?" I'm like, "I feel fine." And my you resting heart, my resting heart rate problem. is like fifty three. And when oh, I really? sleep, it goes down into the sometimes high thirties, low forties. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep. Even I'll even show it shows you on my ring. You like a crocodile. Do you, ever, do you ever feel like lightheaded at all? Or yeah, if I get up, if I get up too fast, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I can't get up fast. I'm like an old fuck. But I've always had like- low on the low side of normal blood pressure, and I have on the low side of normal iron, and I'm I am always uh, deficient in magnesium, which they they which they take, mag- take a magnesium product. I do before bed. I do. What do you take? Uh, is it glycerate? Yeah. Yeah. You, is it pill? Yeah, I take yeah, I take that. I need taking pills, bro. I like. Well, I, I like take that pills. mixed with the. I take the sleep that sleep HD. The I took it two nights ago and last night, and before that, I was waking up like every fucking two hours, dude. I don't know if it's a combination of what's in that, but I at least sleep four to six hours without getting up. Like in between well, there, I'll the wake cool up. The cool thing with that product is it doesn't put you to sleep; it keeps keeps you, you to sleep. sleep. Yeah, I smoke to go to bed. But that's what I've noticed is I've stayed asleep and ha- that, and I didn't know that what you just said. So that is exactly what I've, I've experienced. Cause I, I smoke and then go right to bed and I pass Cause out. You, Cause you know the difference. Like I've taken sleep. Yeah. Products, I'm like, Oh shit. Yeah. And then yeah. I take that one. We're like, I feel fine. But once I fall asleep, I'm like, Oh shit. Like, yeah, I that's, wake up. and that's, and, and, and pe- guys, if you have pr- trouble sleeping, I'm dead serious for, for whatever reason, that product keeps me asleep. I do not wake up. I, I'm I'm in every hour and a half to two hours waking up a, every fucking night. And the past two nights, I've actually slept for actually the one night I went to bed at 1130 and I woke up at 347 in the morning to take a piss. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, I fucking slept for like five hours without getting up. I was like, it's crazy because yeah. I never do that. Hey, can you see me? You're frozen. You're frozen. Yeah. Why? I don't fucking okay, you know. Tell up. That's terrible. That That's was great. Thing, just stuck there. Just you want to just jump off and click the link again. You want me to do that? No, I just said it for fun. I can't be. Yeah, I can't be frozen. I look like an idiot. I'll call you back. <laughs> okay. Right, see, you, see you shortly. Oh, but um, shh. no pun intended. Um. So you, so uh, I wanted to, oh, I guess he's, he's coming back. He's coming back. Unpucker your fucking lips. So you're better. So I I was going, I wanted to finish the, this, this Antonio and fucking Rafa thing. So now for, for me, well, let's go to Vito first. I thought Vito had just as good his conditioning as Tonio. I just thought he was bigger. I I, I, I would I would have liked to see his posing a little. I think I think see I, I think, think Tonio I think Antonio bigger, out po- I think Antonio outposed him. I think Tonio post- looked bigger. No, really? Yeah, I did. In what shots? All of them to be honest. Maybe the exception of the sides, but Tonio's got a little more maturity to his upper body. Hey, a little more density. Who's that fucking tool? Look at that guy. Who that guy? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? But I think uh, Vito's wide, wide like you, Nick. I think yeah, in a year or two, that's going to be a hell of a matchup. Vito next to Nick. Oh, what's this? A he, new one? He's he's no, short like you, coming. Nick. I think he's your height. He is. I I got to meet him um, at Olympia, and he's he's short. He is short. He's about five seven. I actually think he's a little bit shorter. Wow. 
Yeah. He's big. He was like 245 on stage. No, he he was big. When I met at the Arnold, he was like full or at the Olympia. I mean, he was pretty I think he was, you know, not prepping yet. And he was he was pretty fucking big. So anybody have any comparisons? Where would they be? Um I mean they're all right. Yeah, here we go, here we go. I mean he put by engine try post like a mother. Uh well we are where, where's fucking Tony on? I'm just, I'm not a fan of Vito's front shots, to be honest. I he I like I, you know, I think his I think he needs to bring his fucking feet closer and he'd look way better. I like his feet so how he would look without doing a vacuum, to be honest. I I think that I mean that pose impresses me. So but I mean, dude, that back double, Nick. You're that telling back me that shot that impresses me. Is wild. I mean, that just right here. Can you guys see my mouse, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's this Rubino, is just, that's that's what I call the no fat diet. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. He's he's got hamstrings, he's got quads. He's very complete. He's got good arms. Is there comparisons anywhere on here? I, there should have been, bro. But... He's, I mean, I don't see him. What do you want? What is that? Buys and tries. Uh, they had this one, but that's it. I don't know if they'll have the comparisons of Good Vito and um, Tonio. You don't have to Check call Tonio's him. page. Maybe he posted one. You don't have to call him Good Vito. That's what we know him as. He's good. Just and his name is Vito. Why not call what him Good Vito? What is fucking going on with this fucking shit? Why do you swear so much? Shut up. Yeah, right. calm down, buddy. Look at that comparison. 21 to 24. Big difference, eh? Holy shite. What's his name? Tony? Tonio Burton. There it is. Tony. I put, I, I put, I put Antonio by accident. That's what Chris was calling him. I think that's why I call him that, because that's what Chris fucking was saying over and over. Over Antonio. and over again. Oh. Well, okay, that's only one shot. Yeah, you're probably not going to find too much comparison between them two, to be honest. There you go. Oh, no, no. Damn it. No. I mean, dude, he's got he's got a fucking incredible, incredible that, physique. Incredible. I think they only stood next to each other. Let's like, debate. The- Let's debate. What I want to know what you guys like better: his New York Pro look win. Or the Arnold right there. Is that this one? Yeah, why'd you click out of it, dick? Uh, I clicked out of it before you said it, you fucking turd burglar. Actually, I was talking before you did. Yeah, but you didn't say the ending. I didn't know what you were referring to. You said, let's debate. It was already clicked off. Well, let's debate. Okay. I picked the Arnold. Yeah, I agree. He's bigger. I think he's, I think, I think he's a tad, I think he's a tad harder at New York, but I prefer the right over the left. I agree. I think particularly I, I from pick, behind, he got a lot better. Yeah. I think his quads got bigger. His back definitely he got He did, bigger. but look at his quads. He, he definitely lost a little bit of separation in his in his upper legs. But what what do you think that could also be? Because I know he's a big fan of, you know, doing the Stairmaster all day. Do you think that could have been a problem as far as inflammation? I mean, it depends how long he was off it for, right? Like, I don't know how long I, these that, guys are pulling cardio, know. you know? know. Like Jose, because, do you ever feel like uh, the stairs kind of affected your quads? No, no, really, just just immediately after I got off. We never felt like stairs. in time, like they just got inflammation from doing it every day, that the lines kind of faded a little bit, and then once you stopped, they came back. No, no, I think I it made. I think it made my legs harder. Dude, he Nick, he would do stairs the day before a show to make weight back when it was two oh two. I mean, you do what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. So no, what I'm saying is, I'm even doing it before the show. Some like, people, it does, it, it does, or it doesn't. Like I know for me, if I do it, I if I do it for like a week straight, I'll see some uh, hindrance in my legs. But if I do it like every few days, every like I, I, there's, I don't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. My, for majority of my career, it was all stairmaster, all stairmaster. Um, yeah. And it was my preference. You know, but well, I, I, I think you, did your knees ever hurt from it? No, and I, I have a bad left knee. I have that mine, mind. mine never hurt until, like I said, I slowed it down and do like a level three, squeeze. And just squeeze every step. So I then, just, then for a couple of days, just 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 do it no, like do. steady paced. Um, but what you said back to the like torturing yourself, 
I think that era is starting to die, and I'm glad you actually said it because back when me and Jose were coming up, like Jose can attest to this, like when we dieted for a show, if and I'm and I'm not saying this is right, but I think it shows in a lot of people's physiques. If we didn't feel like we were getting tortured or murdered or felt like literally we were going to die, <laughs> that feeling was associated with looking a certain way. And I there bet were good Vito felt like shit. There was a lot of times later on in my career where I remember the show that I did in Miami that I won, which was like 30 fucking guys there. And I didn't change a thing. Chris was like, repeat yesterday. I'm like, Chris, I had coffee from Starbucks. I had a diet soda. He was like, do everything exactly the same. I was like, what? And I walked in, I fucking smoked everybody. But like that, it doesn't make sense to me because I wasn't, I didn't even do cardio for that fucking prep. And it like, doesn't make sense. And it's almost but like- that could also, that's another thing. Sometimes cardio can be a hindrance as well. Well, that was, so that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that mindset is good to have, but you need to know when the fucking- pull back a little bit. That's where Chris would be like, I want you to train today, but you got to train at 60%. He's like, you train fucking hundred percent. You're going to look like shit tomorrow. Well, that, that's the thing. And it's you know? like, I, I, I know I'm a big advocate and preach, you know, during the style of training, but you can only do that for so long, man. Of course. You, you know, that's why like, let, let, let's, I'm not saying he never did, but let's, you know, take Jay, for example, he, he was high volume, Oh yeah, for the end for the you know a good majority to the end of his career, but he never really took. Where did he go? Oh here, I dropped something. Oh, but he never like he never took sets to failure anymore. He was just getting he a pump. That shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He had all and the I size he needed. He but, just was well, getting I think a pump. It's not even. I still think you can get big that way, regardless. As long, if you're training with constant tension on the muscle, you can still grow. Whether you yeah. take a, a sense of failure or not, I, I truly believe that. Um, but there's something to be said for it in terms of less fatigue on the body. Like, sure, it's a lot more volume, but if you know how to manage it and not train to the ultimate failure, you'll probably feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, people. You know, how many comments I've gotten in the last like two months. Hey, are you still far? Are you still far in the uh, uh, RP hypertrophy? And I'm like, well, yes and no. Like, am I following the mesocycles on my phone? No but I incorporate a lot of those methods into how I train. So, but some days I just want to do a little more volume. Some days I just want to say, you know what? Fuck it. I want to grip it and rip it. And, you know, I, I think Mike is an advocate of that as well, along with Jared. I think there's, there's, there's a time, and a, time place, and a place. There's a time and a place for everything. And I enjoy training. And even at 42 being retired and fucking 180 pounds, I still enjoy learning new shit in the gym. Like I, I think I it's still- fucking awesome. I may I, I like to uh I'm a big stickler for just the way they train. I, I am a, just a huge fan of everything I do, yes. getting the ultimate stretch, pausing in that stretch position, and then exploding and, and squeezing at that very top. Like for example, I had chest today, incline dumbbell press. I did three sets of the 120 pound dumbbells for 12 reps, three sets of 12, and I moved on. And each set was just shy of failure. But my pump you know, it was fucking Insane. retarded, you know? And yeah. I felt like to a degree, like I said, as much as I preached, you know, during the eights, that pump was way bigger than me taking a set of failure and moving on. Yeah. And you can get and more I, out of your second and third set. And I'm just a big advocate of, you know, a pump rules a workout for me. Like if yeah. you got a good big ass pump, you had a good workout. Yeah. Jose, what was your, me and you trained pretty, like our styles of training were, I mean, we trained together a couple of times. Yeah. Um, our styles were very similar. Like we just went three to four sets, balls to the wall. The last set we would do a drop set. Like that's how I did 99% of my fucking career. You, you did, you took every set of failure. You, you pretty much. Yeah. And then a huge drop set at the end. I mean, Jose, we had some fucking crazy sessions, man. Yeah. But I'm, the thing is, it's like people would say that's wrong. Right. But like, if there is no, there is no wrong. You, if it worked for you, you recovered from it. You felt good. Then it's not wrong. There is. Like, I bet now that you're older, though, you couldn't do that shit. Like, no, no, absolutely we all, bro, not. We yeah. all used to do that when we were younger. Like, I remember being 18, 19, doing like 40 sets to failure. And I was like, I'm good. Now, if I try <laughs> to do that, oh, my God, I'm taking the rest of the week off. Yeah, I, I'm done. I, I'm probably going to get roasted for saying this because there is some wrong in what I'm about to say. But if you go into the gym, there really is no wrong way to work out because you can do so many exercises in so many different ways 
that look unorthodox to somebody. Like Charles would have me do stuff, and I'm like, what the fuck? If I saw somebody in the well, gym, okay, like, that's, the there's some shit. Like you would never catch me on like a hammer strain doing this one arm to the side. Bullshit. No, no, no. agree. However, doing that, you out of your fucking mind. However, but I, I agree with you, and I nor would you see me. But that's not wrong, is what I'm saying. That's not to me. Wrong. That's wrong. You will no, never do it. No, to you that's just <laughs> no. To you that's just. And a, if I see someone doing it, you're wrong. No, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I agree with you. But instead of saying wrong, it's more of it's just a stupid exercise. Yes. It's not wrong. It's just stupid, you, is my point. It's a waste of time. It. Yeah, it, it is. But what I'm saying, there something being a waste of time, something being wrong, and something being not done the right way is is you different. You know what it's, other exercise really grinds grinds my goats? Is it have to do with a dip, see, dip machine? No, no, no. I hate when I see people try to do dumbbell press, but one at a time. That is yeah. ridiculous. Like you got to be off balance, like a motherfucker, bro. Like, what are you doing? There's, I'm, like, I'm working my core. It's like, how yeah, about you work I your chest and go do abs? Those are yeah, Instagram not... trainers, and people Dude, follow that shit, bro. I don't. Dude, <laughs> there, Nick, I won't even look at it. There's very few people that I'll watch train. I'm like, there's very few. I like watching you, Nick. I like watching Ian. Ian worked hard in the gym. Yeah, Ian was a he, fucking he, workhorse. He, he won't go hard. I he like was a yeah. workhorse. There's, there's no very like few people, Jose. There's no like when we were coming up, and I hate saying that because I feel like I just I hate saying but back when, but when we <laughs> were competing, when we trained together, and it wasn't just me and you. It was if we trained with anybody, if you trained with somebody else, I trained. Like we, it was like it was like who was gonna fucking bury who first? Yeah. Like we didn't uh, like there was no games being played. Fun. Like there that's kind of how like but I don't Matthews see that. I don't train. see that. Like you don't we don't I don't see that anywhere. That's why my, I love when I when I lived in Florida, I love training with Matt because he was so fucking strong, it was insane. And it when when it, we we mainly trained legs together because we knew like that was the body part, and we would see who could bury who. Like we would literally do the same weight. And like, see who could get more reps yeah. out of it. And I, those were probably some of my best workouts. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. There was a couple of times I trained with Jose, and I was like, "If you if you don't fucking call it quits, we'll be here all day." <laughs> we'll be here all day. set for set, homeboy. I'll tell you, I don't. I'm like, if you want it, when you say, "Are you good?" I'll be. Like, we can be done. All right, well, that's enough. Okay, I'll be on the floor. I'll never the floor. fucking I'll say wait. that. Let's go again. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you. Someone well, texted me this morning. Go ahead. About this this upcoming show this weekend. Detroit. Who, who's gonna place higher? Who's gonna Who's gonna place better? Vito. Vito. Oh, yeah. You know, we're leaving out one person who looks really good. Who? who? Justin. Oh, he's doing it. Rodriguez, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He this is the best update. He's been prepping this whole time. I didn't. I. I. I didn't. I didn't know. I thought he was. Po I. I didn't. Let me. Let's go. He's, Justin. He uh, could say two days out, week out. <laughs> bro, I. I really don't fucking pay attention to a lot of shit. Can Justin he win looks, this show? He looks good. Yeah. Oh, you know I what? Didn't he just he post a back better. double bicep? And he's working. He's working with Jacoby now, and I think Jacoby's got him on a good track. Isn't Isn't Tonio as well? Yes. The they tried, Tony will try to do to uh, Detroit too, but um, he put his thingy in too late or something. What's his, like, he's not coming up. Well, because it's not, I think it's J Rod. Oh, right there, bro. Right there, bro. Oh, right, no, you fucking. Rich, relax, buddy. You get What's so no, you're, you're like a blind duck. This thing is, it's an old computer. It just takes a while. But What do you mean it's old? It was right there. Type in Justin. I'm I'm doing it. Right there. You're on it. What? This this right oh, here? Yes. Okay. Justin IFBB. J-Rod. That was close, though. You're a J-off. Oh, I did. Actually, you know what? You're right. I saw this yesterday. I was like, damn, Justin looks good. But I know it didn't even, like ring in my head that he was doing it this is probably the best justin that i've seen from the back yeah right now. that's what i'm saying bro that's what i'm saying it's good hamstrings yeah it's justin good. great job man you look fucking this is the best i've ever seen you buddy this is definitely impressive hit that front double yeah his quads look dry 
Wow. And he looks dry like this now, and he's not even fucking. I mean, look at look at this. Damn. That's what I'm saying, bro. Did I you're right, man. You, you know, can't count him out right no, now. Every everybody's just been saying I didn't even know because every, every conversation I had last night, even on the heavy D podcast, um, or the it HD could be podcast. that dark horse. Yeah, man. I mean hit that side chest. That's gnarly. It looks yeah, good, man. Good. It looks he looks good. Justin, kick some ass, man. You look great. He looks healthy. Yeah. Like his muscles are full, he's in condition. So he's, so he, he's got it. He's got it right now. So here's a debate that I had last night on the um uh the HD podcast, and Queen got fired up because I, I want to know your guys' opinion. He All was right. he didn't want to let anybody know what show he was doing, right? And I was like, yeah. I go, dude, I, I just gotta say, I go, I I'm that I go, you have I I respect like your decision. But I think that's fucking just ridiculous. And he was like, well, if the fans want to come, you know, he was like, if people buy tickets to the show, they're going to show up anyway. I go, no, no, no. I said, what happens if you have fans that want to buy the ticket or flying in or driving somewhere and they don't know that you're doing it till a week out and they don't have the ability to get there a week notice? I said, as a professional, I feel like you do have a duty to let some people know not what you're doing in your life, but in regards to bodybuilding, you should tell people what you're doing and getting ready for. And it, and it gives you a little pressure and gives you a little push and makes you a little nervous. And like, that's part of being a professional. Love that he, pressure, bro. And he was like, well, he kept saying my coach, AKA Matt, he was like, Matt didn't want me to announce anything yet. And I go, okay, let me ask you a question. I go, is there a show that you chose in the back of your head? He goes, yes. I go, then why not say it? Well, then if I don't do it, then I'm going to look like an idiot. I go, well, then you agree to do it and make a mental fucking agreement with yourself. And you do that show. You don't back he out. Doing? Toronto? He didn't, he wouldn't say dude would not fucking say. And I was like, dude, I don't understand this, this concept in your head. Like, would you like, like, do you, well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it it's, it's like, Oh, let's, let's not tell anybody before I, or do you think like, no, you should. No. I mean, I, you already know where I stand, bro. I don't need to speak on that. <laughs> Hose, what about you? Did you ever not tell somebody what show you were doing? What, like, I, what have I not like, said a show I'm doing? <laughs> yes, I know. True. Nick will be like, I'm doing the Arnold in 2025, 2026. Like, he'll get, yeah. you know, two years out. Like, there were times where I jumped into a show because the show that I did, I might have missed my mark and I had a week or two to do the other one. So I jumped in it, but I never... Yeah, but that, does, that doesn't count. We're talking I'm saying, about... I've, I've never not announced a show I was doing at the start of the year. I don't, I just think that's ridiculous. No, you I always host? did. Always, always let everyone know, you know, obviously the promoters, um, and I would give updates like, oh, I'm eight weeks out, six weeks out. Yeah. So people knew the, the only time I yeah, ever did. Yeah, I will say was, that's one thing I'm doing different a little bit is I'm not really posting a lot of progress pictures. You anymore. shouldn't once in a while. is fine. I don't think you should do weekly. I don't, I don't think there, there's, a, there's not a need for that because you're then, then it's like there, there is a point where I feel like it's overboard. Yeah. You know, but like, listen, I'm not what Quinn's doing. He's definitely building hype. People are definitely interested. His laps updates look fucking wild. So, but it's just like, it, it, I, you're like you're you're missing something, and it's like give us a fucking uh, a show, dude. Like let us get excited for you. Like we're, we don't have that. Uh, that was just that was just kind of how I felt. I bet he's doing Toronto because he looks like he's in shape. When's that? Toronto's June? only like eight weeks away, right? How's it, June? What? What's what's Nick laughing at? Because that's it. I can't really speak on the topic, bro. <laughs> I just said oh, that to June. I, I know what you don't know. Oh, no, no. I oh, Okay, no, no. I thought you were laughing because he goes to Toronto. I go, when is that, June? And you just started laughing. No, no, I no. Like, I, 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 I know what he's oh, doing. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Quint, you told Nick, you little fuck. No, it's not. It, it's, I'm coming after you, more, Quint. There's more to it. Oh. Yeah, he knows somebody, Matt. Matt somebody, probably told him. Somebody slipped up. I'm sure Matt knows. <laughs> I'm going to the questions. We'll do some of these before we bounce. Bitches bounce. Oh, well, look, look for a question. But, guys, if you ever have time, which I know you don't. Just um, hold on real quick. 
Pause. What the Wait. fuck, bro? We get it. Your dog snore. You should watch the Vikings. You mentioned that. You you mentioned that once already. Yeah, right? it's good. Is it really so that good? It, it, it started Give me to what die. it's about. What it's about. It started again. Vikings. What do you mean? I know. What's like the storyline, Nick? Is it just about how Vikings came to be? Well, they they, they how they fight against each other. It's a good storyline. You, you know, it's a lot of blood. And, but like season one, two, three is really good. Season four kind of falls a little bit, dips. You're going to get a little uninterested. Season five picks up again. Is five seasons? Six. That w- Did you watch whole thing already? No, no. Me and my mom, we watch it every night together. We're on season five. Yeah, it, that was kind of like for me what The Walking Dead did. It started like this, and, and then, then it, it kind of went like this, and then it went choo. Yeah, this is kind of what this is doing because me and my mom almost stopped watching it. We were like, Wait, "Is it Netflix?" You said, "Yeah, all of them were on Netflix." Okay. See, speaking, of, so I was actually having this conversation about Netflix and shit today. Uh, yesterday, so my cable bill was two hundred and thirty dollars. Damn, and- you watch cable. Well, that's, I really don't watch TV. Like I watch Everybody Loves Raymond, Chicago PD, and football. Like that's about as far as it goes for me. And maybe Judge Judy. It, what's funny is my my house in Vegas, I don't have cable because I, I just watch Netflix and Amazon Prime. I just, I never watch regular TV anymore. So what I'm saying is, is like, Jose, you, uh, what do you have? I have three boxes. So that cost me something. Three but three to, for, for cable? Yeah, it cost me with my cell phone, which I just bundled them. It's like uh, what do you mean? What do you mean you with your cell phone? My cell phone bill is connected to my cable. My, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, who do you have? Comcast. <laughs> yeah. So it's like oh, two hundred and five bucks phone. a month. Two oh five. You give me thumbs up again. Oh, go with thumbs. Do a uh, thumbs down. Yay! There you go. Oh, I'm not. It, it's a phone thing. Yeah, you can't do it on your. You pretend, it. Jose, pretend like you have a salt shaker in your hand. And go like this. Why are you doing this? What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> so I was trying to get you to do it. Yeah, you got. Where are the questions? Uh, for like, don't fucking get nasty with me, you little fuck. Let's go. I get shit to do. Okay, <laughs> best liver supplement: Liver HD. Liver um, HD. Yep. Use code guy. Liver Use code HD. Ah! The code don't even count. Fuck off. Why are so so few guys doing Detroit Pro? Because it's in Detroit. Uh, you know what's crazy <laughs> for for the prize? No, I personally that, think because it's it's it, it's it's timing. It's a lot of timing for people. It's kind of. Right after shows, it's already like people are already playing to do their shows already. I just think it's a timing thing, and people just don't want to do it. And it's crazy to me because they're you know that that show he's got a good list of people coming. The lineup isn't deep, but it's it's going to be competitive, and he's doing it's like a lot. Of, it's a good it's a good six people. Yeah, and and he's and he's given like a lot of good award outs that I think is awesome. I, I am actually shocked that there aren't a lot of people doing it because yeah i mean the winner he, gets 25 and then like the other three awards are uh 2500 yeah and so, fuad's very involved in the ipb and has, has done a lot for the sport just in general and like it, you you should support especially these guys are already in shape like even if you and you're iffy about it like you know you, that that's to me is like supporting somebody that like has done something for bodybuilding and like that you know it's 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 almost like I find it a little disrespectful that there's only six guys. Like that should be a, a more stacked show. There should be more guys going to that show, especially Nick, for what he's given out. Nick, what what did you say? Why Tonio's not doing it? They he put the qualification in for it too late. Really? Why couldn't they just waive that and be like, "Yeah, come on and do it. I, we want I, another I, I body know. on stage." They just I don't know. They told him it was too late. These are actually a couple of good ones. Prostate. What are you taking for it uh, to ensure it's good when you get older? Have you guys ever taken, besides salt palmetto, have you taken anything? I Listen, I, I still take, because um, HD doesn't have one yet, but I, I still take the Revive prostate. Yeah, huh? See, that's smart. I, Not a lot of guys take prostate stuff. You're smart for even doing that. I Bro, I did, even if I don't think I need it, like if I know it could affect it down the road, I start taking now. Like it just, yep. it's, it can't hurt you to you take mean, you, you now. Mean, you, you mean if it can benefit you down the road? Well, I'm saying if something could 
detrimental something down the road, I'm going to take something to make sure it doesn't. Oh, okay, yeah, to combat it. I got you. Um, this is actually a really good one. Jose, I'm, I want you to answer this one first because Nick is way more you know new. Do you remember the first time you signed an autograph and how did it make you feel? Yeah, I felt ridiculous. Um, Do you remember the first like, one? Yeah, I think it was at um, my first Olympia. And uh, actually, no, no, no. Way before that, actually. I guess pose. I won the um, Muscle Mania in 1999 and went over to Hungary for guest posing. And uh, there was a million people there. Really? And they had, yeah, they had made these big posters of me. And I had to sit there and sign them for people. And I, I couldn't believe it. I was like 155 pounds. Like a... That's awesome. No, nobody special. And I was there signing autographs for like an hour, taking pictures and stuff. Did that you ever... Did you ever... 1999. Did you did you practice like how you were? Did you sign your name the way you sign a check, or did you alter it? Because my when when I when I started with this, uh, I I don't know if it was my dad, but he was like, "Don't make your autograph the way you sign checks." He's like, "Don't do that." Yeah, like, no, good idea. I used to take my time back then and sign it the way I sign everything. Yeah, and then as the years went on, and there's you have to fly through it, you know, yeah. uh, it became messier and messier. Nick, what about you? I have a feeling you probably got your ass for your autograph before you were even a pro. If I'm pro, if I did. Not. I was actually it was actually the first time I went to the Arnold Classic before I turned pro. Um, I, well, I wasn't. I didn't even turn pro at that show because oh, maybe I did. Was it nothing? It was one of my first Arnold I ever went to. I I, I never been to one. Though I went with one, and some kid came up to me and asked me to sign his shirt, and I was like, "Really?" And he's like, "Yeah, you're the mutant." And I'm like, what year right. was that, Nick? 2019? <laughs> Sign that. Yeah, 2019. Yeah. That's when I met you. I was it with. Was. Uh, yes. Yeah. I was with Nate Spear. Yes. I remember. Yeah. And you were like, I, I couldn't fucking get over you. I'm like, this kid's as tall as he is wide. It's fucking bizarre. <laughs> like, and that was, you weren't even as big as you are now. No, no, I wasn't. Yeah, I remember that. Like, what? Our what eyes got used to him being huge. You our eyes the name are adjusted. Sure. Fuck, he does. He's huge. Um, Did you... So, Nick, what about your autograph? Like, did you practice that, or you just sign off? Nah, I just signed, bro. So, I, so, my first Arnold I went to was 2009. I was there for Species Nutrition, because I was with Dave Palumbo's company, because he was my coach back then. And uh, I remember he he called me and he asked, you know, oh, what picture do you want to use? Because we're making eight by tens. And I'm like, eight by tens. Like, yeah, for autographs. And I'm like, I can't. Nobody's going to fucking ask for my goddamn autograph. Like, what the fuck? So he ordered like a thousand of these fucking like uh, signature cards. And I remember practicing an autograph to make it fast <laughs> because I remember people being like, well, you got to make sure your autograph isn't long because you have a long name and there's going to be people, a long line of people. So I remember sitting at my house, like a couple days before I left for the Arnold, like trying to figure out how I was going to sign this shit because my name was so goddamn long. <laughs> Do you write in cursive or print? Cursive, fast cursive. as fuck. Yeah, I literally just. Yeah, Nick just... Chicken Scratch is the bitch. I'd write hey. my first name in print, my last name in cursive. Well, that's very third grade ish. Yeah, yep. that's weird. Um, can you rank, can you rank the HD pr protein flavors? Nick, I'll let you do that because you uh, know them much better than I do. Cause I haven't had them all. Okay. So what do we got? We got chocolate, vanilla, um, chocolate, peanut butter, cold brew, cold brew, uh, ube coconut, birthday cake, a missing one. I can't help you. Maple, maple the maple one. What the Guys, fuck is send me some one? of that shit. What? Some protein. There's a okay. maple one. Okay. So I'll go with chocolate peanut butter for my number one. Mm. I'm going to go with the maple for number two. Mm. I'm actually going to go chocolate three because I think their chocolate is really, really good. Mm. I'm then going to go with the cold brew because that tastes really good like fucking cold brew. Chocolate and cold brew are the only two I have had. And then I'll go with birthday cake and then vanilla. And then ube coconut last, only because I don't like coconut. But if you like coconut, you'll probably love it. 
Is that one really good? Because I got I got to place an order with Hana, and I don't I don't know which ones to. Order. If you if you like coconut, then yeah, I think you'll like it. I I'll just don't like, like coconut. I'll be like, give me one of each now. What if you mix coconut and cold brew? You put the lime in the coconut. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. The cold the cold brew is actually phenomenal. I what are you sorry, a fucking barista? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Who who said I'm gonna send it to you? You will, Nick will. Nick won't send you <laughs> shit. <laughs> Get your boss to send me one. I will. I, order, yeah. I actually ordered my dad one because he he likes that one a lot. Um, what are your main sources of income for guys with pro cards these days compared to before? Well, before uh, we didn't have before we didn't have fucking the social media to get paid. So Never. sponsorships, coaching, and social media. Hose, hose, you you worked and and trained clients your entire career. Still do. Yeah, I still do. That's a, I always knew that this was a short lived thing, you know, competitive bodybuilding. Yeah. So I never stopped working. I didn't change my life. I saved all my money that I made from bodybuilding, which is awesome. And it, and it was I was able to you know buy a nice house and, you know, have a comfortable life, because I didn't live beyond my means. I never, I was never that guy that bought a Benz and put crazy rims on them or anything. You're not fucking BMW. What are you talking about? Shut up. Yeah, you have a BMW. You did too. Oh, my wife did. I didn't. Didn't you buy it? Oh no! Well, oh. it was in my name. That's why I thought you bought it. Yeah. Um. Fuck! I had something important to touch on, and I ah oh, come. On. Don't let me forget. Oh, we haven't talked about the grand opening at all because that we haven't had a podcast since. I don't think have we? No. That was great. What did you guys think, Nick? You uh, you you were a fucking hit with everybody. What uh, what did you that? What was your first impression, both of you guys, when you walked in, like? You guys had besides the updates that I post, you guys haven't seen shit. I I honestly, bro, I thought it was awesome. I thought the outcome, the gym itself. I mean, it was really hard to see the gym with how crowded it really was. I know, was. dude. But I think the the layout of it, the colors, all the equipment, um, how you have everything organized and separated, the posing room. I think it's phenomenal, um, and I'm very I'm very happy with the turnout that you had, and I'm very happy that I came. Um, even to meet all those people, I thought that was awesome. Parents, p- parents were so happy to see you again. My dad, I, I, I enjoyed honestly, bro. Like I enjoy doing shit like that because it's not only because like I consider you, uh, you know, one of my best friends, but it's like those are times you get to meet people, you know. And then, like I'm not, de- I wasn't at the at that time like feeling like shit and prep yet. So it was fun to like just meet people that wanted to meet me and have conversations with them. Like, you those to, are you have to rush those through. Those are it. what I enjoy, you know. And you don't have to rush through the combo because it's not an expo where you feel like you're pressured. Oh, no, it, it felt like an expo though. Oh well, they, they were that yeah, dude. It was fucking. I don't, bro. I told, I said if we're gonna let people in at like at 11 30, 12 o'clock. I went into the back to show my parents the posing room. I came out of the posing room and I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" Within five minutes, dude. I came out of the posing well, room yeah, and you also was... gotta understand bro like you're a very well respected individual and people want to support you no and i they... was good well they and they well they all they see what kind of gym it is they like you and they, they people want to support man it, you know when i woke up that morning i was like you've got to be kidding me with this weather and i was like i called my parents they're like you're right i go I'm waiting for the fucking animals to start lining up two by two because is that's that's the next thing to come because it's that fucking wet outside. It's like insane. Yeah, and, dude, it's awesome. And then driving there, I watched on the other side of 78 coming at me. Thank God there was a divider. I watched a tan fucking truck 360 smash the divider twice. Thought he was gonna flip over the fucking divider. Really? Until, yeah. So I was like, this is gonna be a bad day. I'm like, nobody's gonna want to come to this shit. And I actually am thankful that the rain happened. Because if it was actually nice out, I don't know what the fuck I would have done. Because it was that many people. I would have been fucked. Well, people, yeah. people flew in, bro. You know? I, dude, it was crazy. I mean, the, the Brother Bruno's food truck, people loved it. Fuel Chef was there. You were there. Um, Jay, Branch. You know what? One of the best compliments that I got, because a lot of people came up to me and asked why certain individuals that people know that I'm close with weren't there. I don't have answers mm. for why people weren't there. I don't have answers mm. for why people do things. However... 
Juji came over after that or that night of, and I cooked for like about 15 people because I brought a lot of the guys back to my house. Cause it was either go to a nice steakhouse or go back to the guys. Somehow everybody wanted to go back to the guys. Jose, you were here. Um, and Juji said one of the, it, it was the one, it actually almost made me tear up in the moment, but it was very quick. We were in my kitchen and I said, you know, John, I said, there's not, because Juji John is his name. I said, uh, I know we're not like super fucking close and I know we don't talk every day. And I said, I know we keep in touch and we check in on one another here and there. I said, but you know, the fact that you came out to this, I said, means a lot, man. I said, because there was people that I expected to be here that weren't. And there were people that I wouldn't have expected to come. I go, that came, I go, and you're one of them. I said, it means a lot, man. I said, cause you don't owe me anything to come. And he just said, I'm your friend. Why wouldn't I come? And I Yuki was like, is honestly one of the nicest people I've ever met. And like, I was like, genuine. And when he said that, I was like, I looked at him and I go, that's, that's the best thing that's anybody. I go, that was the, that made my weekend, dude. I go, that comment right there. I said, made my weekend. I said, you know what's, you know what's crazy guy? Thing. You know, what's crazy. And it's a harsh reality. It's the ones you don't expect that always show up. Yeah, it really is. And the ones that you think are going to show up, don't show up. There was a handful of people that should have been there that weren't, you know? And people talk about not being able to be here, or go here, or do, or do this. Nobody is busier than Jay Cutler. Nobody in this industry is busier than Jay. Not one motherfucker. And if that guy has the ability, he found, to be, the, he found the one opening he had that month, and he fucking stayed he with it. You know, um, but yeah, man, it was it was awesome. You guys, you guys showing up meant the world because it was. Uh, you guys have been in my life for a very long time, Jose. You obviously much longer um, than Nick, so you guys know like who I am, deep rooted in in through and through. So you know what all that shit meant to me. Um, yeah. But it was awesome, man. And then you guys came back to the house. Hose, we had a blast here for a couple hours cooking and eating. Yeah, it was so much fun. Me yeah, and Chris had a blast the whole weekend. What did he it, have it to say? Awesome. I mean, I talked. Uh, he to him loved it. Time, but yeah, he loved it, and he was so happy for you. And and you know, that's Chris's environment. As much as he's not a like people person, like with with the big crowds, he loves all of all of us, all of, you, you yes. know, his crew. Yeah. So getting to see everyone and talk and tell stories and and it was great because he got to spend some time with Branch. Yeah. He didn't realize what a great guy Branch is. You the know. Best. He Branch loves comes off as like this rough, gruff guy. You know, he's really a fucking teddy bear. He's the nicest guy in the world. Love Branch. Love Branch. Everyone that knows him does. You know. And yeah. it was cool to see Chris say that he was like, I didn't hear. You know, never really had a conversation with brand she's a not only is he a good guy but he's an intelligent guy you know chris now he's, talks a lot about branch and he, he loves nick's mom he thinks nick's mom is like oh god he wants to do a podcast with nick's mom i heard yeah he said at the new york pro he's gonna I break heard. down the the show with her i heard that's yeah. gonna be great i uh before we go nick told me the other day he goes guy you know how many fucking bodybuilding debates I've been in since I've been home? He goes every fucking day, me and my mom. Every day. Play, but... I know. Every day. I can't, I, bro, I came home to like be stress, stressless for this prep. I'm more stressed than ever before. What's your favorite every, debate? Every day is a debate. You The, the Arnold Ohio, we, we debated. The fucking Arnold uh, UK. Brazil. Debate. Every show. I can't wait for this weekend. Let's. We're going to have another debate. Who, Wait, who who should have who should have won Detroit? Didn't she think Rappa should have won? She did, yeah. Well, we 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 briefly had another debate today, and I think I uh, tw turned that around a little bit. You better. I'm gonna say get her ass on here, and because that's insanity. She knows well, better. I told her. I said I don't think her eyes as good as you think. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I thought her. That's exactly where I was going. I was gonna say I thought her eyes better than that. Yeah, you need to put them shades on, girl. Yeah, he's got fucking. You can't. You can't. He fucking Rappa had like a ghetto booty. I love him. Yeah. Just he's got a very appealing physique to women, like he, an aesthetic. The only thing, the thing physique. Well, he does. But the thing, the thing about the Raph, man, if he nails it, it, it he can he can win easy. You know what I mean? He he could win uh, mostly any show, but besides the Arnold's and and the Olympia, he goes into any show at a hundred percent with that yeah. physique, shape, symmetry, smoking everybody. 
I agree. He's he's insane, but he needs yeah. to be in shape. And for everybody out there, is like Rafa of Brazilian fans. This is all. This is not talking saying, shit. It's called this constructive is, criticism. We're just saying he was off at that show. Not every competitor is a hundred at every show. That was uh seventy five percent Rafa. We've seen a hundred. He keeps that muscle with a hundred percent of Rafa's normal conditioning. He's gonna kill everybody. So I mean, that's Agreed. just that's simple, right? Agreed. Um, we all want to see him do well. And I think that Period. gets lost sometimes. I think people when don't understand that when we criticize, we're not saying we don't like. We're saying what we want to see so we can go, there it is. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think exactly. that gets mis twisted around. Um, but we covered a lot. Nick prepping. I told him an hour, and uh, I don't want to keep him on because it's been over an hour and a half. I'm sorry, Nick. No, this is cool. This is good timing. Like, I'm very schedule-oriented. You know well, what I mean? I, we can keep. I have, I have more to talk about unless you're fucking antsy to get. No, 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 no. This was perfect for me because now it's it's feeding time. But if we started at like five five fifteen, I'd be right now staring at the fucking clock, kind of like I'm ready to go, my boy. So we started at like four thirty, and now it's, it's been a good time. I I woke up. I did cardio. I went to the cardiologist, pulmonologist, dropped my girl off food at work, and then came home, cut my entire yard. Got inside at 356, showered, got changed, hopped on would, here. What'd you bring in? Yeah, what'd you bring uh, in for food? So beer she, sausage? She, how good was that? <laughs> it was great. I cooked it in my house. Oh, what'd you bring her though, for real? I Some stopped at Patties? No. <laughs> You're such a fucking idiot. I good. stopped at Rin, Rindazzo. So there's a, an Italian um, Italian deli and pastry shop down in, uh, I think it's, it's at Raritan. Or is it? Yeah, yeah. Water? It's Raritan. I've heard, I know you're talking about. Um, it's one of the best Italian places I've ever been. So if you're if you're ever around the area, check out Rendazzo's. Um, so I got her a uh, fillet of sole with broccoli rob and uh, a bag. She likes chocolate covered pretzels, so I just get her that a bag of assorted chocolate pretzels. That sounds good. And then good. went to my appointments and went there. So um, I'm nice. a good boy. I'm a good boyfriend. You are. That's what good people job. don't understand about you, guy. Like you, you're an asshole, but you're a sweetheart. If you're this, I was talking to actually James Hollings said this morning, uh, this morning, I'm actually on my way home from dropping uh, Nicole off coffee. I said, uh, you know, James, we were just talking about people in the industry and things. And I go, there's not a lot that I am confident about. I said, I was never confident that I was a good bodybuilder. I was never confident that I was a great football player. I said, I'm, I'm not confident that I was the best son, but I go, there's one thing that I can, I will look anybody in the face and go, you're, you're not better than me. I go, I'm, there's nobody better. There's not a better friend than me. Cause I will do anything I for any test. one of my friends at any given time of the fucking day, time, money, bend over backwards shirt. And I, I don't, I, I just, I don't expect my friends to do everything that I do. I just expect them to do something sometimes, you know, I agree. That's but, a good note to end on. Very good guy. Which one? The me that pat note, myself on the back. Ass. No, 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 no. That you, you would, you. Would I was saying, I'm not patting myself on the back, but I just, you, I at least val, I value my friends so much that I hold them so fucking high that I know that my word is, if I say it when it comes to my friends, it will get done no matter what the fucking terms are. If I, if they need me, I'm there no matter fucking what. Yeah. You know, and I just, I wish more fucking people that call me a friend would actually fucking live up to that expectation sometimes, and they don't. That's what sucks. Yeah, I agree. It's you a know? sad reality, unfortunately. Yep. Uh it is what it is. But the people that are in the people that are my people, just like you guys know. You guys, if you're my people, you guys know. Uh, yeah. I make it very fucking known if you're my people. Um, so keep your circle small and tight, just like your buttholes. Mutant in the mouth. <laughs> hey. Jose, Jose, we gotta have you on more often. This is this is very flows a lot easy. Er, yeah, let's do it. I enjoyed it. Yes, you stop fucking hiding behind your curtains. We'll Meet cover the uh, Detroit show next week. Yeah, when do you want to do? Well, well, we'll let's do that. We'll uh, set up a uh, a group chat with you knuckleheads. Let's do All it. Right. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget that Mutant in the Mouth just started their Instagram handle, so be sure to subscribe to the Mutant in the Mouth IG. We're going to be posting a lot and everything to that Instagram, so check it out. Until next time, me, the Mutant, almost two time champ, New York pro. Winner hey. and one of the best to ever do it, Jose Raymond. We will hey, see you guys back next. Something time. funny. If he wins again, we'll all have be two time New York champs. 
Hey. Oh shit, that's true. Hey. Yeah. Everybody with the two one two, put your motherfucking hand. <laughs> that would that's actually pretty fucking cool. Nick, you yeah. win that fucking uh, when you win that, we gotta have like a live podcast. We gotta have me, you, and Jose in the room. Yeah. The only difference is that you'll have two rings, me and Jose won't. We didn't get any rings. I got a that's ring. Right. I was gonna say we No, got you did it. You rings. got a you got a fucking yeah. ring? Yeah, a little so it only fit my pinky. But it was yeah. I got no ring. I got a plaque and a cup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Steve, you got my cup. ring. Can you can you drink out of it? It's one of the, it's a, the Arnold cup. It's a size. It looks like an Arnold cup. Oh, you, can put, you can put all your weed in there. You're good. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. See you soon. Assalamualaikum. Right. Y'all be good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.